Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video we are diving into the world of color and exploring how to use the Cadence Global Color Palette to ensure that your website is on brand. The Cadence theme gives you nine colors to choose from in the Global Palette which is a fantastic tool to ensure that you keep your colors consistent throughout your website. It also gives you three palettes to choose from allowing more creativity and flexibility when designing your website. One of the coolest features is when you change a color in the global palette, it changes throughout your entire website. This ensures that your design stays cohesive and on brand. So as mentioned before, the Cadence Global Color Palette is made up of nine colors in total. Now you might think these are random colors and you can put your colors wherever, but Cadence have designed this specifically like this to ensure that the colors are used in the right place. So the first two colors, your brighter colors, and these should be used on call to actions and links and should really draw in the browser's attention and to get them to click on a specific area. The next are your four darker colors. These are your contrast colors that you're going to use for your text and you can have the strongest text and then lighter medium text. The last are your three base colors. These are the pastels, the whiter colors that you're going to use for the backgrounds and you should be able to put your text on top of these base colors and still be able to read them. Now let's go over to my website where I'm going to show you how to use the global color palette on your website. So here we are on my WordPress dashboard. I have a fresh clean installation of WordPress and if we head over to appearance and themes, you can see that I've got the cadence theme installed and activated. So to get to the global color palette, we're going to come to appearance and then we're going to click on customize. This is then going to bring up the cadence customizer and under colors and fonts and then colors, this is where you'll find the global palette. Now I've created kind of a test page. So once I change the colors, then these will change on the front end. Okay, so here we have our two accent colors and to add in your colors, there are two ways of doing this. You can either come here to accent one, paste in your hex code, your RGBAA numbers, or you can choose from the color picker. So let's say for example, I'm going to choose this pink color. And once I choose that pink color, you can see how my buttons change on the front end and my links also change. Then we can come here. This is our accent two. We can do the same thing and choose another bright color. And if we go to the front end and we can see how the hover color also changes and that also changes on the links. Another way that you can add colors to your color palette is if you come here to this little folder, you can click on that and you can select from the predetermined color palettes that Cadence have already. So if you aren't feeling inspired, you can just click on any one of these palettes. So I'll click on this one and you can see how things change on the front end. You can also come to export images import and you can export your colors or you can import colors from text data. So what you would do is you would just copy this and then you would just change the hex codes. Now you need to make sure that you put the hex codes in the right order. So in the right order they are at the top here. So two accent colors, the four contrast colors, and then the three base colors. Now one of the nice things about Cadence is it does offer these three palettes. So if you are torn between colors, you can also choose a palette two and then then things change. So if we come here and let's make it the orange one and this enables us to be a little more creative. And if the client is kind of deciding between colors, you can show them what it would look like with palette one. And then you would show them what it looks like with palette two. If you want to, you can also come here to this little arrow and reset all the values. This will reset it to how it comes as you install Cadence. Now those are your nine global color palettes. If you'd want to add more colors, what you'd need to do is go to the page and then add them into the Cadence blocks control. So let's do that. So we're going to close this. Then we're going to head to a page. So we're going to come to pages here on the left hand side. We're going to click all pages and then we're going to click on any one of our pages. Click edit. Once this page loads, we're going to come to the Cadence blocks controls at the top right here. We're then going to come to add color. And once we add the color, it's then going to add a circle with the gray color to start with. So you're going to click on this and then click edit color. And you're going to either paste the hex code in here or use the color picker and choose the color you'd like to add. And then if you'd like to, you can also give your color a name so you can pop in the name there. And once you're done, you do need to click update on your page. And then you do need to refresh your page in order for you to use that 
that color. So I'm going to come here to this row. Once I'm here, I'm going to go to the style tab under row and under background color, I'm going to click on the color picker and then you will see my new color there and it does have the color zero as the name. So I can select that color and if I want to, of course, I can make that a little bit more transparent and then click update. So that is how you add additional colors to your global palette. These are colors that you might not use as often on your website, but instead of you having to go and search around for that hex code every time you want to use it, you've already popped it in and it's really great if you are building a website for a client that they can keep their website on brand. So there you go. That's how you use the Cadence Global Color Palette to create consistency on your website. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, be sure to drop them in the comments below. And I'll see you next time for a video that will help you create an amazing website for your business.